Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and for this weekend, we have another color recipe. If you've noticed a pattern, I'm here to confirm that there is one. I try to post a color video once every month. I really think that the right kind of colors help in the composition of your clay pieces. So it's important to know a little bit about color theory. For this month, I worked on some warm summer colors. While I may be using particular brands for the recipe, you can also use the clay that is closest to the colors that I am using if these are the ones that are available to you. For the first color, I am going to do a creamy yellow blend. I use 4 parts white and just a sliver of yellow orange clay. Once these colors are fully blended, this will result into a very creamy, off-white color. For the second blend, I will do a summer yellow color. I mix three parts white with one part of the yellow-orange clay. As you can tell, I only change the proportions, but essentially use the same colors. This just goes to show how many color combinations you can make when you know how to play with proportions. The third color that I will make is lettuce green, which has grey-brown undertones. I mix Sculpey White with a sliver of Fimo Accent in Glitter Green. Once these two colors are fully blended, I mix a sliver of burnt umber to get that slightly gray-brown undertone. This really helps warm up the colors.
And for the final blend, which is a light mocha color, I simply add 3 fourths white with 1 fourth burnt umber. Notice that my burnt umber is pretty dry, but since my white clay is quite soft, it helps make the blending easier. It will still take some time to condition, so you will need to be patient. Sometimes I give my clay a rest just to make sure that the colors are incorporated before I start conditioning it again. And these are the final colors for creamy yellow, summer yellow, lettuce green, and light mocha. I made a sample terrazzo slab so that you can see how well the colors go together. I hope that you learned something new from this simple tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a crafty weekend. Bye!